be done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, for forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom thy incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the best of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Take him number forty seven. Just like a child who trusts his father. and brothers, a warm welcome to this Holy Eucharistic celebration. During this Mass, let us, during this Mass, let us pray for the following intentions. Thanksgiving to most infant Jesus on the occasion of Mary Luz Das, Dais birthday offered by Mario Dais and family. Special speed recovery of Mario and Cecilia and Isaac offered by Max Francis. Special thanks to Infant Jesus offered by Trinity Enterprises.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Preparation for Mass. O Divine Jesus, Jesus, as you call the all the shepherds to your crib, by your holy angels, and the three wise men, by your wonderful star, so you call me today to the adoration of your divinity and humanity, to the holy sacrifice of the Mass. The three holy kings offered gold, incense, and bark. I, however, offer you to your heavenly Father. For you are mine through the hands of the priest, just as you offered yourself to him, lying in the crib, a poor, helpless child. I unite my intention with the intention of the priest and the whole Catholic Church, and will assist at this holy mass with the greatest devotion to your honor, in memory of your bitter suffering, which began in the stable of Bethlehem. I offer it in thanksgiving for all the good I have received as atonement for my many sins and negligences, and finally to obtain your assistance, most gracious infant, in my necessities, especially in this need. I unite this sacrifice of the mass with the sacrifice which you offered on the cross. I offer it for myself, for all my relatives, friends and benefactors, living and dead, for the spiritual and civil authorities, and for all mankind. Graciously accept this sacrifice, O most kind Father and Lord, and hear my prayers to your beloved Son, who became a little child and let himself be laid in a crib. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, Today, the parable speaks about the kingdom of God. Jesus compares the kingdom of God with the parables of the fisherman who throws the net and catches the fish. When he throws the net, all the fishes come into the net and all the types of fishes come into the net. When he brings out the net, he is caught out or he divides the fish. He uses or he puts all the good fish in the basket and he throws away all the unnecessary or bad fish to the outside. In similar way, when the time comes, God will send his angels to the world and they will see according to the person, according to his deeds or our deeds, they will separate the people like a fisherman. So dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, as we gather around this altar, let us recall all our sins, uh, how we are living, how our thoughts and how our vision. Let us recall all our sins and sinful thoughts, wicked thoughts, ask pardon and forgiveness and mercy from our Lord in order to participate worthily in this holy Eucharistic celebration. I confess to Almighty God 
and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what they have done and in what they have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most greatest fault. Therefore, I ask the Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who help, who hope in you, without whom nothing has formed foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 18, 1 to 6. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, Arise and go down the potter's house, and there I will let you hear my words. So I went down to the potter's house, and there he was working at his wheel, and the vessel he was making of clay was spoiled in the potter's hand, and he revoked it into another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to do. Then the word of the Lord came to me, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter has done, declares the Lord. Behold like the clay in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel? Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give number 134. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because it's given. Jesus Christ, His Son, give thanks with a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One, give thanks before the given.
The Lord be with you. And your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew, chapter thirteen, verses forty-seven to fifty-three. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, "Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that." that was thrown into the sea and gathered fish of every kind when it was full men drew it ashore and sat down and sh shorted the good into containers but threw away the bad so it will be at the end of the age the angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth have you understood all these things they said to him yes and he said to them therefore every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old and when jesus had finished these parables he went away from there the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus We have seen in the first reading how God is making everyone a new shape He gives an example of how the potter is making a pot the pot, we know how the potter makes the pot he takes the clay which is shapeless and he gives it a beautiful shape and also he after making the beautiful pot he fires it he keeps it on the fire and he he heats it so that it, it becomes a pot which can be used for our own daily life in similar way we should become a clay which means we should become a flexible in the hands of god he will make us a better person so far you may think or we may think we are shapeless but today the word of god is telling us he is giving a new shape in order to get that new shape we should become a open hearted open hearted mind we should have the open heart mind and we should become a flexible a flexible person in the hands of lord in same thing we see in today's gospel one of the standard ways of fishing in the sea of galilee at the time of jesus is a throwing a net in the sea in order to catch the fish both two boats full uh, full a very large drag net between them as a, as a result all sorts which means all kinds and all the types of fish are caught some of the fish would not be suitable for selling at the local fish market and so when the fisherman is brought to the land the fish would have to be separated out from the fish that would be sold in that way is the kingdom of heaven like that every day reality by the sea of galilee perhaps jesus is 
scorching the that as he goes about his ministry he casts the net of god's loving presence very boldly the gospel is preached to all and so all the gospel is preached to every person jesus does not discriminate everyone needs to hear the gospel of god's unconditional love for all no one is considered unworthy of the gospel as jesus says elsewhere in the matthew's gospel chapter 5 verses 45 using a different image god makes his god make his sun to shine on his his rain to fall on good and bad alike however jesus is aware that not everyone will respond to his proclamation of the reign of god's merciful and faithful love just as the fishermen have to separate out fish which can be sold from fish that cannot so there will there will come a moment at the end of time when god will separate out those who try to rest respond to jesus proclamation of god's loving presence and those who refuse to do so in the meantime the lord continues to throw the net of god's love over our lives and his grace at work within us continue to move us to respond here we should remember that the gospel is not meant for only particular particular people or particular group of people the gospel is meant for everybody under the sun yes but many are not responding to the gospel like how they are, uh, the fishermen divided the fish of uh, good fish and bad fish at the same time if you and i are not following the what god wants to follow if you follow against the god's commandment and god's wish and will same way we also in the end of the judgment separated like the like a bad fish yes dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus let us let us take concrete resolution let us take take concrete resolution for our lives and ask god lord give me the grace to be like a to be like a good child of you give me the courage to follow all the commandments which we have given through the through the word of god and reveal your will Yes dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus in order to be good persons in the sight of God we need to work day by day and we should reflect the word of God then only God will say you are my true worthy person and then only our reservation will be uh, reserved in the heaven so as we are gathered around this holy eucharist let us ask for this grace let us ask for this grace of being a good person and also we should say yes to the lord we should say yes to the lord whatever the situation we may whatever situation we may face whatever the situation we may face we should say yes to the lord same thing the disciple also said jesus asked them have you understood all these things they said at once they said yes and also we should have courage to say yes to the lord
Let us all stand for the prayer of faithful. Heavenly Father, your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, taught us to ask all that we need in his name with confidence. Hear the prayers of all your children who have gathered here. Miraculous Infant Jesus, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, the bishops, the clergy and religious, that their lives may be a source of renewed strength for the Church. Miraculous Infant Jesus, hear our prayer. For all those who have had their petitions granted, that they be ever disposed to a spirit of thanksgiving and praise. Miraculous Infant Jesus, hear our prayer. For the sick, the lonely and the depressed, that the Divine Child may be to them a source of comfort and strength. For those who stand in need of special favours, that the Divine Child may reward their humble faith and grant their petitions according to His holy will. For all the devotees of the Infant Jesus, that they may be endowed with childlike and lively faith in His omnipotent power. Let us pray silently for our personal needs. Father, we thank you for having heard our prayers through your Son, Infant Jesus. Give us the grace to accept the designs of your holy will even if our prayers are not answered in the way we, ex we expect. Grant this through the same Infant Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Please take hymn number Pray, brother, pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, this most sacred ministries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the fast passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thorns and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Tumma Bala our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Our most on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you. 
through your son Jesus Christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And give us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but to see the world as you are thee. May the body and blood of Christ be peace for eternal life. Please take him number 444, 444. Lead my heart to Lord, you are there. you 
As we are nourished by His most holy sacrament, together we sing, My Jesus, My Jesus, I believe that You are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that You are present in the most holy sacrament. I love You above all things. I love You above all things. And I desire to receive You in my soul. And I desire to receive You in my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive receive you sacramentally, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And you, and you, until my myself fall to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave, gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thank you, God. Knowing not to child Jesus. O oh, Jesus, Blessed, ask and shall be, seek and shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. To the attention of Mary, thy most holy mother, I know, I see, and I ask that my prayer will be granted. O Jesus, who said, O Lord, the Lord, Father, in my name, he will grant you. O Jesus, who we have said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my love shall not pass. To the infection of many, thy most holy mother, I feel confident that my prayer will be granted. Novena Prayer. O tender, loving Jesus, your greatest joy is to dwell among us and to mentally missing the wellness. For my heart worthy, that you should be holy with love. I feel myself brought to you, dear infant Jesus, because you gladly pardon me and exercise your whole mind to come over me. So many who turn with confidence to you, that the same places and have their visions granted. We won't find you in your name and I can see for your own children. Infant Jesus, meek and mild, look upon me, a little child. Pity mine and pity me, support me to come to thee. Heart of Jesus, I adore. Heart of Mary, I implore. Heart of Jesus, for just your three hearts, I put all my trust.
take hymn number 988. We are here to pray. Look at Jesus, how he is looking at each one of us, very mercifully, he is blazing at each one of us. As we are in the presence of God, let us forget all our worries, all our troubles and tribulations. You may be suffering with the untelling disease. You may be suffering from unsharing problem, but here is the great person who is eagerly waiting for you. Open our hearts, our mind and speak to Lord. He is listening. He will give all the answers for all our questions. How we are praying daily. Jesus prayed for his disciples. Jesus prayed early in the morning, we can see in the Gospels. He prayed for the Holy Spirit to come upon on disciples and he prayed on the cross for the thief, repented thief. In same way, he is praying for you and for me. He is, he is praying for our own families and we need to Welcome Him. We need to open up to Him. Pour out all our worries and trials and tribulations on the feet of our Lord Jesus, who is present in the most holy sacrament. How lucky we are!
you have given them bread from heaven let us pray O God, who in this wonderful sacrament has left us a memorial of thy passion, grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of the body and blood, that we may ever experience within us the fruit of thy redemption, who, who lives and reigns all without end. Amen. Yeah. 